Hello po ulit. For today's video, tatalakayin naman natin ang formulas module sa Microsoft Excel. Ngayon, um, meron tayong worksheet example dito. Just ignore the numbers po. I know this is a bit um, complex kasi it's about um, present value and depreciation. Um, pero wala. Um, this is a very basic example lang naman na ating gagamitin. So, we wouldn't need to understand yung actual formulas na nandito kasi we will discuss that later. Um, so, for the formulas module, nandito po lahat ng formulas and functions na pwede ninyong gamitin or i-calculate sa Microsoft Excel. Ipapakita ko lang po sa inyo lahat ng mga modules, uh, sections na nasa modules, pero yung actual formulas ay tatalakayan natin with real examples na mas madali natin maiintindihan in the upcoming videos. So, sa ating formulas module, we can start with um, the insert function over here. Basically, if you select an empty cell, you click on insert function, lalabas po lahat ng possible functions na pwede ninyong gamitin dito sa ating um, window. Um, ang maganda dito is pwede ninyong isearch yung actual formula na gusto ninyong gamitin. So, kung gusto ninyo ng um, VLOOKUP, andito na siya, or maybe match formula, andito din siya. So basically, everything um, in Microsoft Excel can be searchable dito sa ating insert function. And then when you select one, insert mo yung function, andito na siya, dun sa inyong selected um, blank cell. And then, ilalagay ninyo yung mga corresponding value na gusto ninyong i-calculate ni Microsoft Excel gamit yung function na inyong isinelect. Next, um, this one is also very commonly used. Medyo tinalakay na lang natin siya sa home section kasi madalas nakikita din siya sa home page ni Microsoft Excel. This is our auto sum function. For example, gusto natin kunin yung sum ng isang row. Let's take this one right here for example. You just select a blank cell below the whole row and then you will click auto sum and then click sum. It will auto-select yung mismong buong table. Kung makikita ninyo, we have the sum function and then yung buong table which is from B23 until B33. Then you hit enter and then kukunin na niya yung sum nung lahat ng values na sinelect natin. Under the sum function, meron din tayong other options just like the average, or count the numbers, my maximum and minimum. Let's use, for example, average. So select din niya yung nasa taas niya mismo. And then you have the average of this whole row. So the same goes for the other functions. And then, meron tayong recently used. So ito yung mga ginamit ninyo very recently. Kung makikita nyo, andito yung match na ating isinelect kanina. And then, um, isasuggest din niya yung mga commonly used Excel functions sa baba. And then, from financial until more functions, basically, this is the exact same function na makikita ninyo when you click the insert function, just like what we did kanina. Pero this time, segmented siya based on subcategories. So, for example, sa financial, ang makikita nyong formula dito is mga related sa financial calculations, just like um, future value or nominal, net present value, and all those information. So, this is a bit more complex, I would say. Meron din tayong mga logical functions, which is more commonly used. Basically, um, gagamitan siya ng logic on each of those functions. So, for example, si if function, ang mangyayari is, bibigyan mo siya ng condition, kumbaga, if this Excel, um, this, if the cell is blank, get this value, something like this. So, we will explore that later on, but basically, under logical categories, meron tayong um, condition and result. And then, meron ding text categories. Um, basically naman, sorry, I say basically a lot. Pero sa text subcategory, um, this is regarding sa actual 
um, text o so yung mismong mga numbers or text figures na nasa Excel sheet natin or sa nasa specific cell. So, meron tayo dito, let's take an example, pwede siyang substitute. Um, ang gagawin ni substitute is may isi-select kang number and papalitan niya siya ng specific number na isi-set mo din, kunwari. Um, meron ding date and time. Bay, um, si date and time naman is very useful sa pagko-convert ng mga um, period of time and date. So, pwede mo siyang kunwari ang specific um, date. Meron tayong date. Let's take for example, January 1st, 2021. So, meron tayong date na ganyan. Pwede mo siyang, depende sa options na pipiliin mo, pwede mong kunin kung ano yung day na corresponding, which in our case is 1, or kung ano yung month, which is also 1 because of January and so on, and year 2021. Ang commonly used function, I think, sa date would be the today function. So if you select today, and then you enter that, ang lalabas ay kung ano yung date today. So, I'm recording this video January 5th. Ayan. And then, makikita nyo siya. Nakalagay dito is January 5th, 2021. Sorry, nasa French format yung aking date. Kaya nauuna yung day and then month. Pero, ganun yung concept niya. And then, kung iklinos mo itong ating um, sheet na to, pag inopen mo siya the following day, ang date naman na malalagay dito is January 6, which is the date for that day. Next, we have the lookup and reference um, subcategories. This is also very commonly used. Ang gagawin niya dito, kunwari, eh, ang commonly used natin dito, for example, is lookup, vlookup. Ang gagawin niya is hahanapin niya yung specific number na ibibigay mo sa kanya in a table. For example, ito, sasabihin mo sa kanya, look for the number 981.82, hahanapin niya ito. And then, bibigyan mo siya ng condition kung anong gusto mo siyang gawin. So, hahanapin si 981.82 at pag nahanap mo siya, Excel, gawin mo ito. That's basically what you're trying to tell Excel. So, um, madaming functions na very useful under lookup and reference. Um, we will discuss a lot of those in the next coming videos. And then math and trigonometry subcategory, there's also a lot of functions in this subcategory. Um, I think magiging familiar kayo sa ilan sa mga nandito, just like decimals, degrees, meron tayong pi or power and stuff like this. And then more functions, um, ito yung least commonly used na, I would say, and a bit more specific depending on scenarios. Um, ang pinaka magiging useful sa inyo dito would probably be the statistical section because you can get yung average, um, count and count A, count if, and stuff like that. Now, moving on, so meron naman tayo ditong what we call define name. Kunwari, just like sa example natin na to, meron tayong range of um of values and um, formulas. So, ito ang mga values and then may mga formula siya within those um, those tables. Pwede mong iselect yung whole table and define a name para sa specific table na yon. That way, you can easily find it later on or incorporate yung table mismo na yan sa mga formulas ninyo. So, you just select whatever you'd like to define and then you will define a name. Say, table. underscore Ayan. and then next useful then itong next two ones that I will show you it's for you to be able to track yung mga formulas na nasa, nasa sheet niyo. For example, let's take this cell right here. Kung makikita niyo formula siya, kasi it starts with an equal sign, then my, my function na nakalagay. Pwede mong i-click si trace precedence, meaning trace niya 
kung ano ba yung mga nasa loob ng function. Ano yung mga cells na ginagamit ng function na yun. So, let's click on that. And then, makikita nyo is using this cell, this cell, this cell, and this cell. And then, yung, yung kasunod naman niya, trace dependence, is the exact opposite. Ipapakita niya naman sa inyo kung ano yung mga um, cells na gumagamit sa actual cell na yon. So, baliktad naman. Punta tayo dito sa cost. If you click on trace dependence, nakita natin kanina na si, si cell na to ay ginagamit sa function na VDBF. 9. Ang makikita naman natin ngayon if we click on trace dependence is that itong si 10,000 na to ay dependent ni 2,000 na to. Ayan. So, madaming um, cells ang nakadepende sa 10,000 number na nandito. And then, if you like to see all of the formulas in your sheet, pwede mo ding i-click si Show Formulas here. Ayan. So, inilatag niya lahat ng mga functions and formulas na nasa loob ng ating sheet. Um, this is a very small number, pero kapag meron kang napakalaking table, it's useful to use the error checking um, sa ating module because ang gagawin niya is i-check niya yung buong worksheet mo at hahanapin niya kung merong mga um, function or formula na hindi nakaayon sa mga rules na nakabase. So, you just click on that and then ipapakita niya sa inyo kung ano yung mga may error. In our case, lahat naman is, um, is compliant sa mga rules na assigned. And that's it for the formulas module. These are the most commonly used um, sections sa ating formulas module. Like I said, napakadami pang in-depth information on each of the specific formulas and functions. Pero I won't be able to go through each of them in one go. Kasi napakadami talagang information. I would, I would rather show it to you guys with real examples. Para mas madali siyang um, maintindihan. So, um, ang next video natin, tatalakay naman natin ang data module. Which is also a very uh, useful tool sa Microsoft Excel. Madami-dami ding um, functions na nandito. Pero we will try our best to tackle only the most commonly used ones. And um, that's it for our video today. Salamat ulit sa panunood. Thank you for watching. And sa uulitin.